My husband, Pierre, and I are travelers. We're a group of gifted people who can open portals to other realms using books. These realms are called book worlds, and they all combine to form Tale World, our home. We travelers are its stewards and guardians. Pierre and I have a daughter, Alice. We're a happy family, though, as you might imagine, not a typical one. Our adventures are sometimes hard to describe, and I'm sure our biggest adventures are yet to come. My daughter, Alice, was always talented. Her powers well surpassed Pierre's and mine. She could open portals to other worlds using only mirrors. I warned her to be cautious. There are terrible things out there. If only I'd been wrong. On her 12th birthday, we found her in a coma next to a broken mirror. Nothing we did could wake our child. But our troubles were just beginning. For days, Alice was trapped in her mysterious sleep. Then, all of a sudden, Hold on, Alice. We're coming. It's some kind of magical barrier. We have to break the enchantment somehow. We have a spellbreaker book in the library, don't we? Hurry, go find it. I'll stay here with Alice. These rifts are destroying our home! What? Where's Alice? She was just here! Did you take my daughter, you monster? That thing took Alice through the mirror. We have to do something. Monsters? Quakes? This is all too much to deal with on our own, Belle. You go get help in town. I'll stay here in case it returns.
That was close. Thank you. But now the path is blocked by a giant rift. We'll need to look somewhere else. Maybe our old friend Maria can help us. She's still in her island book world, isn't she? Why don't you go find her? I need to, uh, catch my breath. Long ago, two wise brothers spent countless hours reading enchanted tomes. Their names were Benefor and Malik, and they were the two greatest magic scholars of their time. But, as great as they were, they wanted to expand their knowledge if they studied every book they could get their hands on, convinced that ultimate power came from the written word. And it was true. Books indeed powered the imagination like doors to new worlds. But in the right hands, those doors became more than imaginary. One day, Benefor was so immersed in the tale of a faraway kingdom that he began to feel he was actually there. He swore he could smell the fresh air and nearly touch the stone wall of a nearby tower. Could it be real after all? It's good to see you, my friend. Wait, you are upset. What has happened? Oh, Maria. A monster came through a mirror portal and took Alice, and then strange quakes started. Hmm, yes, I sense a disturbance all across Tellworld. Tell me everything you can. We heard a scream from Alice's room today. We rushed to help her, but the monster had already taken her through the mirror. How terrible! I will help you get to the bottom of this in any way I can. The monster left Ta behind? Interesting. Show me, child. This is not Ta. It is hardened lava. It came from the volcano near here. I see a man. He is in pain. I'm losing focus. Quickly, child, help me fill the gaps in the vision. He is being punished for... He was once very powerful. I can feel it. But he used his power to do terrible things. I don't believe it. He is Malik. Malik the Great was once a powerful traveler. One of the first two, in fact. No one knows why he went mad. He became evil and started ripping our worlds apart. 
Eventually, he was stopped by his own brother. Benefor imprisoned him in the volcano. But true evil rarely stays contained. It seems that Malik is behind everything. The monster that took Alice, the quakes, it is all his doing. But he was imprisoned in the volcano on this very island. If he escaped, we are all in great danger. You must hurry. The way to the volcano is too treacherous. Use my magic carpet. You found a crystal? Powerful spells, thoughts, and emotions can sometimes take crystal form. Show me. This, this is the catalyst of this world. It can stop Malik's spell. This is the key to saving your daughter. A special artifact crafted by the mechanical gnomes can be used to activate its powers. Place the catalyst into the artifact to undo Malik's spell. If you do this, you can find Alice. will tear our entire world apart. The next catalyst must be in another book world. It looks like it's underwater. The book! It's my only hope! I can just reach it! Almost there! 